One of the most exciting parts of football is seeing a player beat a defender 1v1 with an amazing piece of skill. And over the years, we've consistently seen Brazil produce some of the best dribblers in the game. It's like they're born with magic in their feet and it's just a part of their DNA. So today, we're gonna to learn five mesmerizing Brazilian skills. So as you can see, we don't have a defender to go up against today, but these are definitely skills you're gonna to wanna to master on your own before trying them out against a real life defender. So let's kick things off with the first move. And of course, we can't compile a list of Brazilian skills without including the Elastico. So the Elastico has been used by Brazilian players throughout the years to unbalance defenders and beat them 1v1. So the first step to the Elastico is pushing the ball at an angle with the outside to the top of your foot, right here in between the laces and the outside of the foot. So with this area of the foot, we're gonna push the ball 45 degrees in the opposite direction to where we eventually take the ball. This is gonna bait the defender. So to really sell it, what we need to do as we're making contact with the ball and pushing it, we're gonna drop our shoulder, bend our knee, and use our body to really make it look like we're gonna go in this direction. And then we're gonna transfer the ball to the inside of the foot, and it's almost all in one movement. So we push the ball, we transfer it to the inside, and snap it in the opposite direction. So the key with this one is to keep in contact with that ball throughout the movement. We're not tapping it away from us, but instead we're pushing the ball. So it should stay stuck to your foot, and then you're gonna transfer it to the inside, and then you're gonna push it in the opposite direction, and that's when you accelerate away. The second skill is the Hocus Pocus, used by one of my favorite Brazilian players, Ronaldinho. So it's very similar to the Elastico, but instead of going from outside to inside, we're going inside to outside, and we're also going behind our standing leg with the ball. So it's a really good one for bamboozling the defender. You're not gonna use this one at speed, but great to use in the corner or on the sideline, and you can off balance that defender, make it seem like you're going one direction with the ball, and then flick it in the opposite direction. So the first step to the Hocus Pocus is stepping in front of the ball. You wanna make sure there's enough room between your heel and the ball so it doesn't get tangled and you can push the ball behind your standing leg. Then with the inside of your strong foot, you're gonna push the ball 45 degrees. Then once it gets past your foot, you're gonna to exchange to the top of the foot and flick it 45 degrees in the opposite direction. So you really need to make sure there's a big enough gap and you're taking the ball nice and wide so it clears your foot and you're gonna push it with the top of the foot in the opposite direction. So we step in front, push it 45 degrees, transfer 45 degrees in the opposite direction and that's when we accelerate away. Moving into the third skill, and this is a move I haven't seen any other player do other than R9, Ronaldo Phenomeno, arguably one of the best Brazilian players of all time. So for this skill, there's three steps. The first step is to place your foot on top of the ball and use the sole of the foot to drag it back towards you 45 degrees. And then the second step is to hop off of our standing leg and use the inside of the foot to push it back in the same direction the ball just came from. So you drag it back towards you, hop off of your standing leg, and you're gonna push it back where it just came from. Final step is to hit the ball with the inside of your opposite foot, 45 degrees in the opposite direction once again, and this is where we accelerate away. So the first two steps are to bait the defender, so you drag it back towards you, hit it back, that makes the defender lunge for the ball, then you're gonna use the inside of the foot, hit the ball past their foot, and you can accelerate away. The fourth skill is one used by another Brazilian legend, Rubinho. And there's a few more steps to this one, but if used in the right areas, this one can be really effective. So the first step is pushing the ball out 90 degrees from where we're standing. So we push the ball out 90 degrees, and then we're gonna use a Rabona kicking technique to make it seem like we're gonna strike the ball. So the Rabona is when we use our striking leg, go behind our standing foot and strike the ball. 
but instead of striking the ball, what Robinho does, he hops over the ball and pushes the ball back in the direction it came from. So he hops over, uses the top of his striking foot, pushes the ball back, and he uses this to bait the defender into lunging for the ball. As that defender lunges, he pulls the ball back towards himself, then uses the inside of that same foot, pushes it across, transfers feet, and then pushes it beyond the defender where he can accelerate away. So let's piece it all together here. So we push the ball 90 degrees, hop over the ball, push it back in the direction we just came from, pull the ball away from the defender's foot, croquette her around and accelerate away. And the fifth and final skill is a variation of the sombrero flick used by Neymar Jr. So there's two steps to this movement. The first step is getting the ball up into the air so that we can use the outside of our foot to flick it over the defender's head. So the flick up that Neymar uses, he places his non-dominant foot on the ball and he drags it back towards himself. Then with his opposite foot, he gets underneath the ball to lift it into the air. So kind of like this. But instead of flicking it directly up in front of himself, he flicks it slightly behind himself, which is really effective for two reasons. If the ball's going away from the defender, it's gonna make that defender lunge forward so that when you flick the ball over their head, their momentum's coming forward and it gives you more chance of getting away from them on the opposite side. But also, it puts the ball in a position where he can just lift his foot, use the outside to make contact with the ball and flick it up over the defender's head. So when you're flicking up the ball towards you, make sure it's coming slightly behind you. Instead of right in front of you, just slightly behind so you can raise your foot and flick it up over the defender's head. So let's piece it all together here. We flick up the ball by dragging it towards us, slightly behind, up over the defender's head, and off we go. So there's five more skills you can add to your repertoire to beat defenders 1v1 in a match. But before you go, if you enjoyed today's video, please help us out and smash that like button. Also subscribe to the Unisport channel by clicking the bubble up here. And if you want to learn more sick football skills, check out the playlist down here. And if you want the latest and greatest football gear, head over to unisportstore.com over here. I'm 7MLC, until next time, I'm out.